Hello everyone, Anna here with Computer Upgrade King. Welcome to our product teardown for the ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 3 G531 GWKV71. Features an i7-9750H CPU, a 15.6 inch Full HD 240Hz screen, and a GeForce RTX 2070 graphics card. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the teardown here. Flip it over. It's very similar to other things that we use. All you're gonna need is a Phillips hep screwdriver. Make sure you lay out the screws in a grid pattern so you know where you took them out of. And these corner screws near the front of the laptop do not come out, just unscrew them. And again, this other corner screw here at the front does not come out, just unscrew it all the way. Once you get to this point, all you're going to need is one of these guitar picks to help you open it up. Flip it up to make it easier to work with. You can see here, see how opening these screws open this gap? You can actually get your pick in there. Makes it nice and easy to open up. We appreciate that. Just run your pick around all the way. I definitely recommend you take it around the back side just in case. This does have this light bar that runs around it, so you'll definitely want to be careful with how you remove this thing. Flip the back panel towards the front. As you can see here and here are your light bar connections. You're going to want to flip up the little pin connection. and this other one comes right out. And the bottle panel is removed. All right, let's get to doing some upgrades. We're changing the RAM from eight gigs all the way to 32 gigs. And we're gonna add an MVME drive. We're going to update this drive here from the base one terabyte to a two terabyte. First things first, you're gonna wanna remove the battery careful with these ASUS models, they have this metal tab you actually need to move back. And you don't need to take the battery out of this model to perform these upgrades, but it's good that we have it disconnected. We'll start with the memory, because the memory is the easiest. As I said, we're upgrading to 32 gigs. It comes with 16 gigs total. Nice, so we're taking out two 8 gigs. It's a simple process. If you see these metal tabs, pull them to the side and the RAM stick will pop out at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Then you just remove it. And to install a new stick, all you need to do is line up the notch in the memory with the notch in the slot. Insert it at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Push it down until both metal tabs click. And you'll install the other one. So this ASUS did not come with an NVMe stock, so we're putting in a one terabyte ADATA XPG drive. Should be a nice upgrade. Pretty simple, just remove this one screw here, get this piece of mylar out of the way. And you can see under that actually we just discovered the Wi-Fi card. If you wanted to upgrade the Wi-Fi card, it's a simple process. There are two leads that need to be popped off one screw, and if you want to upgrade to whatever the latest Wi-Fi is, it's as simple as that. Nice and simply, just insert the MVME drive in that 30 to 40 degree angle, same as the RAM, push it down and replace the screw at the end. Replace the Mylar, it has a bit of sticky at the end to help keep it down. Last but not least, we're going to replace the one terabyte to a two terabyte. We just need to be careful and work around. There should be four screws securing the caddy. All right, now we 
we have the four screws out, let's get the caddy. As you pull it out, be careful, there is this ribbon. The ribbon is what actually runs to the SATA connection. Remove that before you remove the drive or you damage the connection. The drive is actually secured in here with four screws into the caddy. It looks like a 7mm drive with room for a 9.5mm drive, so room for expansion. We're going to go ahead and remove the four screws on the side here. You're also going to need to note the orientation of the drive so you can make sure you put your new drive in the same way. Easy enough, now use the screws again. Alright, so this is the same orientation it was before, but when you put it back you'll want to connect your SATA data and power. It's already run to the board so no need to worry about that here. Line the drive back up. You'll have these little knobs to help you keep it in place to where it should be. And then just tap back down the four screws you took out earlier. So that's going to complete the upgrades for this ASUS. While we have it open, we're going to talk about a few more things. If you're looking at the structure here, these copper pipes, this whole cooling system here is for your GPU and CPU. You can always tell a difference. Your CPU is always going to be the smaller side of things. Your GPU here, you can see all the surrounding stuff. That's for your memory chip and other stuff. And if you look at this section, it's actually numbered. So if you were to take this off and repaste it, maybe you want it to liquid metal your system or something like that, all you would want to do is follow the screw patterns that's laid out for you. One, two, three, four, and then you come over on this side, five, six, seven, eight, and this whole structure will come out as one piece. And do be careful when taking this out as it's easy to bend, so you want to make sure you apply even pressure when you remove it. And if you're going to take off this heat sink, make sure you reface both the CPU and GPU heat sinks. That's just best practice. And outside of that, that's pretty much all you can do on this laptop. If you're looking over here, this is where your EDP connection for your 240 Hz display. It's a nice four pin EDP, pass all that data. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and plug the battery back up. When you do plug the battery back in, make sure you put the metal piece back in place. When you go and put the bottle panel back on, remember it has these LED connections here at the front. So we're going to set this up and make this as easy as possible. Make sure the connection is open. There'll be this tab essentially. Once you get the cable in there, go ahead and press that down. The little blue pieces have a marker that let you know they are all the way inserted or not. Just keep that in mind as you're doing so. Make sure it goes all the way in before you tap it down. All right, we did it. That's the completed upgrade. We're gonna go ahead and put the bottom back on it. Give it a good press around all the edges. We're gonna go ahead and screw all those screws that didn't come out, which are those front screws our screws in a grid pattern from earlier, so we'll just put them in the way they came out. Now with all the screws in place, we're going to check our seams, make sure it's nice and sealed up. And that completes the upgrade process. If you need a different configuration for this ASUS Strix or looking to personalize the machine, be sure to check out our extensive customization options on our website, including CPU, graphics card, storage, RAM, laser etching, and more. Be sure to check out our product link in the description and leave a comment down below if you have any questions for us here at Computer Upbreaking. Thanks again for spending some time with us today. You've been watching the ASUS Frog Strip Scar 3 G531GW Teardown.
be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future product teardowns and reviews.